Hello there, my name is Jason Perkins, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode in my Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm a workers' compensation attorney. I created this series of videos to provide people who've been injured at work with helpful information about the rules of Georgia Workers' Compensation Law and the benefits available to them under Georgia Workers' Compensation Law. Today I want to talk to you about a question that may arise at some point in your case and that is settlement. And specifically, I want to talk to you about whether there's a maximum workers' compensation settlement. Um, well, the answer to that question is yes and no. Um, there's no law that says that there's a maximum workers' compensation settlement amount. Um, but there is a maximum amount the insurance company is going to be willing to pay to settle your workers' compensation case. Um, you can't get a workers' compensation settlement by going to court. Um, in other words, it's different than a personal injury case where you can generally go to court, present your case to a judge or a jury, and have the judge or jury award you a verdict for your past, present, and future damages. Under Georgia workers' compensation law, you can't get a lump sum that way. The only way you can get a lump sum amount is to settle your case by agreement with the insurance company. Basically that means that you and the insurance company have to agree on the settlement amount. And the insurance company has a choice about whether they've settled your case, just like you have a choice about whether you settle your case. You get to decide what you're willing to settle your case for and the insurance company gets to decide what they're willing to pay to. The insurance company is generally going to look at what your case is likely to cost them in the future. and I think that usually you should look at what benefits you're going to receive from workers' compensation in the future and decide what you should settle your case for. Now one important thing to understand about settlement of a Georgia workers' compensation case is once you've settled your case and that settlement has been approved by the State Board of Workers' Compensation, it is final. Um, that means you can't go back and change it later. And so if you settle an injured workers' compensation case and you don't settle for enough, then there may be nothing you can do about it. So it's a very important decision to make and I usually think that when you're dealing with a serious injury, it's very important to talk to a worker's compensation attorney before you make a decision about settlement. I hope you found this information about settlement of a Georgia worker's compensation case helpful. If you have, please let me know that. The best way you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you want more information about Georgia worker's compensation, whether it's settlement or some other worker's compensation issue, there's a couple of good ways you can find that out. Um, one is by visiting our Perkins Stutter Workers' Compensation channel on YouTube, where all the videos from the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series are available. Or you can visit our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com, uh, where you can read some of the articles I've written about Georgia Workers' Compensation. Or if you've got some questions, you can uh, submit a request for a free consultation with me on our website, or you can call the phone number on the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching this video today. And I wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.